for you, sir. Um, there has been much confusion, and I've se I'm seeing it all the time on social networks, about the $500 um, grant or reimbursement or whatever term mm -hmm. you want to give it that people have been applying for um, that has to do with a loss of, of uh, you know, food. I guess it's a food voucher. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of confusion by people of, who don't know what they need to do to qualify or who have maybe made a mistake when they filled out the form. Um, what can you say about that portion of the assistance that FEMA is putting out there? Because at some point somebody said everybody was eligible and then at another point somebody said no it's you know you have to meet these requirements so can you please explain what you know goes with that specific um, grant or reimbursement or whatever it is you want to sure uh, first of all it's part of our individual and household uh, grant program and that's the assistance that we give directly to individuals uh, who have received damage from the storm whether they're renters or their or their homeowners so if you have had damage from the storm then what we ask you to do is to apply for fema uh, on our website or call you know our, our 800 number uh, and then uh, they'll actually walk you through that okay and they'll Tell you what you need to have that you have to you know be able to show proof of uh, that you live there and then you did have some damage so we have inspectors going out uh, to do inspection to see what the level of damage is and then you can receive a grant up to thirty three thousand three hundred dollars now this five hundred dollars is is you know because imagine if you were somebody who was impacted and you lost all the food and you lost some of your you know personal property and things like that uh, and you had to wait for the inspection and everything that you know we realized that it's important to get some money out right away and that's what this five hundred dollars is about it's about to get get some people some money into people's hand who need it because they lost everything and that allow them to you know buy some food buy some you know household goods uh, with that that's really what that's about as far as eligibility, the best thing to do is, is apply and, and talk to us. We're also going to be opening uh, disaster recovery centers uh, around across the island, and those are also not just you know on the website and calling. We also think we'll be able to go and visit and have a conversation with somebody about. What it. if somebody makes a mistake on their application? They can't go back and fix it, right? They, you know, then they. That's the type of thing you call. You pick up the phone. You know, okay. if you're if you're on the website, you know. Uh, we recognize that people are in stress, you know, and and, uh, and so we're going to we're going to be as compassionate. And that's the one of our, our guiding principles is to be compassionate and to listen and, and things like that. So we'll talk to you on the phone. We're opening centers. Uh, we just opened one in uh, Umacao and one in Mayaguez, uh, and we'll be opening more. And there'll be places to go. Do you know how much FEMA has uh, dispersed for that line item? That line item alone, I don't. I do know that for individual assistance, uh, we're at, uh, I think, uh, how much 99. Uh, 99. 99 million. 99 million. We'll get over 100 with tomorrow. Maria. With, 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 with Yeah, Maria. with Maria. And, and if, actually, if we had Irma, I think we're well over 100 million. Okay. I don't have the password. No, that's fine. That's fine. I that was that was pretty much the answer. People are having lots of questions about how they can get that money because it's an emergency staple. Okay. Thank you.